one word to describe Angelman syndrome, I would use the word challenge. I think that is the most uh, preeminent um, issue at hand when it comes to Angelman syndrome, the challenge and challenges that obviously those who are afflicted with the condition face. Um, the challenge starts with those who immediately experience the, the results of having the condition, uh, the boys and girls and, and women and men um, in our global community. You know, with the challenges, there is this counterpoint to the challenges of this incredible achievement. And it's like I always said, you know, a child taking their first steps is a huge benchmark for any parent. It's something that, you know, if a parent isn't there for the first steps, they curse it for the rest of their days that they missed that first step. And well, imagine you're told that your child may never walk. Imagine what those first steps are like. Quincy's two. Uh, she's two years old. She um, has a deletion. She has Angelman syndrome. And um, she is an inspiration. She tries so hard every day to do the littlest things and she accomplishes them daily. The only way to describe this child and I think all of our kids is inspiring. The members of our community who have Angelman Syndrome have so much to say and so much to give and have dreams like you or I do and have hopes and have fears and have jealousies and all the you know, quintessential human emotions that we all go through are shared by those with Angelman's and just because there's the majority of times no verbal speech and no verbal articulation doesn't mean that that wealth of feeling and that depth of emotional experience isn't being felt by every child and every adult who has the condition. I have awesome syndrome. Oops, I mean Angelman's syndrome. One level, stop it. Two things really changed my outlook on the research that I was doing. The, the first was having my own children. Uh, and, and when you have a child of your own, you, you realize you would do anything for them. Uh, and I think the second was meeting the first child ever that had Angelman syndrome. Louis was his name, the first Angelman um, patient that I had seen. Uh, he, was, he was funny, he was gregarious, he was uh, a little mischievous um, and super friendly. And, went against everything that I'd ever read about children with Angelman syndrome. And I think seeing that as well changes your perspective. When, when you see that the, they're there, um, they just need some help. One of the first angels that I met was Jackson. And uh, he was wonderful, he was very energetic. And uh, it, it was a very human experience, I would say, to, to meet him and to see him and to get away from the disease that's on a written page and just see someone and realize, you know, yeah, we could do this. We could actually help people. Stevie and Billy, you know, two of the lads who are there who are now in their 20s who have Angelman syndrome and they're just, they just do my heart such, such a service. They're such a tonic to my very spirit when I see them. The first angel that I met was Ainsley. She's, she's pretty unique. Very uh, creative, very uh, funny, you know, lots of personality. Going to the gala is a transformative experience. And seeing the families, seeing the angels, um, and just the whole spirit of the event is very moving. Last year was the first time that I went to the uh, Fast Gala. And seeing all of the families there and their children and the passion that these people have certainly gives you a drive to keep going. These parents, they love hard and they work so hard. So it's the one night of the year where they get to, they get to let their hair down and, and have a night that yes, is about their children, but is also very much about them having a practical experience of getting a few drinks on and get, hitting up the dance floor. The community had a huge effect on me. And I think meeting Angelman Syndrome parents uh, with, of children that had Angelman syndrome and, and the children themselves changed my outlook quite a bit. Getting the opportunity to interact with the, the families and the individuals is probably the most rewarding aspect of, of, of what I do. The difficulties and the challenges that arise from the condition are shared by all. Um, I say that as a parent and I say that knowing the hard work that James's mother, uh, Kim, does on behalf of James advocating on his behalf and I, I say that on behalf of the many parents and brothers and sisters and uncles and aunties and grandparents. There's so many things that I'd like to say to the community of Angelman parents, but I think the main thing that I would say is hope. 
I mean, there's so many things happening now in this community. I mean, with the research that's being done, with the pharma companies that are coming in, I mean, there's a momentum and the momentum keeps building. The community is special. Uh, I've never seen anything like it. They're, they're all focused on one thing, and it's their children. So if I could say one thing to the community, it, it would be thank you. It's an honor and a privilege, and, and I feel very blessed to be able to be in the position I am right now. You are an amazing group. Keep doing what you're doing, and I promise you, we will keep doing what we're doing as hard and as fast as we can. You're broken down and tired of living life on the merry-go-round. And you can't find a fighter, but I see it in you, so we gon' walk it out. Ooh. We gon' walk it out and move on days And I rise up, I rise like the day I rise up, I rise unafraid I rise up and I do it a thousand eight times again And I rise The silence is in quiet And it feels like it's getting hard to breathe And I know you feel like dying But I promise we would take the world to its feet Move I won't dance Bring it to its feet For that we have each other children is an incredibly intoxicating thing to be around and it, it kind of um, offers you a sense of, of a world that, that I would much rather inhabit than a world of, of not knowing. I believe that a cure is on the horizon and we are working hard towards this goal.